Hey girl, hi. How you doing? It's Saturday. Yay. So everybody's hopefully off of work and doing something fun and relaxing or relaxing. Relaxing is always nice. So I'm super excited today. I am getting to go. This is, um, I use this for my primer. I already have primer on my eyelids, but, um, all right, I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, um, I am getting to go today, uh, to Alexandria and meet a bunch of my teammates, my Lime Life teammate, my Lime Life sisters. So, so excited about that. Um, but I have a, uh, palette. It's the Danessa Myricks, um, metallic palette it's some metallic shadows it is gorgeous and I'm going to share that with you um, today so I've been dying to get into this palette I just had not had a chance this is what it looks like they're gorgeous 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 colors in here um, the purple and green and the gold would be beautiful for Mardi Gras. Yeah. So, but I think, I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to use this purple, this darker purple. Um, for the look that I'm going for. Let's see. Or actually, I think I'm going to do the lighter purple. So. These are what the two look like. But this would be gorgeous. This is gorgeous for um for Mardi Gras. So I'm gonna go with this one here. Okay. So I'm gonna go with our metallic look today. So okay dokey. So I have my eyelids primed, okay. Um, and then I just want to go over so the brush that you just saw me use, this is my um, concealer brush and I use this I use our concealer um, concealer zero to prime my eyelids it, it is a great primer our concealers are wax based just like our foundation they're waterproof um, and they don't go anywhere now it's most it's important to prime your eyelids because that helps from that helps keep the eyeshadow from settling in the crease of your eye. If you've ever seen anyone that they they close their eye and you can see a line where their eyeshadow has separated, they need to prime. Um, so, and they're probably not priming um, their eyelids. So, sorry, I'm just checking out my blush here. All right, so what I'm going to do first, um, I am going to take Cream Boat which is just a white color, and I'm going to dust it all over my eyelid. Hang on one second. Just need to get my, my color swatch. If you don't have a color swatch, these are super cheap. Um, you can get them on Amazon for like, I don't know, six bucks or something, six, seven bucks, and um, that way you can get the color off of your brush. So if I wanted to use this brush for three different colors, I can, because all, all I have to do is put it in my color swatch and it gets the color off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take Cream Boat, which is the white color, and I'm just going to dust it all over. Our eyeshadows are highly pigmented, okay? So it doesn't take a lot. A lot goes a long way. That's the other thing. I have, um, I have a friend who ordered eyeshadows a four palette eyeshadow from me and she was like Kim she's like these eyeshadows are so pigmented she's like I'm gonna have these eyeshadows for years I was like I know so super cool right <laughs> all right so I'm using the white as a base color okay so just do that and you just put it all over up to the brow okay all right now I gotta say, my eyebrows are looking really, really good. I did, it. Um, and I did it all, y'all, with, I did it all with this Claim to Fame brow pencil. I love this pencil because the, t um, you see how it has a fine tip. It's so easy to use. Love it. So, 
my hair is still damp. I rode my bike this morning. Um, so I just, I like to let my hair air dry. Otherwise, if I try to dry it with a, um, with a dryer, with a blow dryer, um, I, I end up walking out of the house with a fro. So, okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pink here. It's pastel me about it is the name of it. It's a really light, light pink, pastel pink. Okay. And I'm going to mix it with blush hour. This is another, um, it's a pinkish color, really pretty. I wear this one a lot just by itself, but, um, what I have an idea I'm doing something. So what I'm going to do all right, first of all, I'm going to start with my crease color, okay, which is also your transition color. So I'm going to take, this is Pastel Me About It. It's a really, really light color, and I'm just going to dust that all in my crease, okay? And then you start you you know you can build okay because so you start light and then see how it looks and then you build on that okay all right so this is all going in my crease that's my transition color now notice I'm not going I'm not going up to my brow with this color I don't want to go up to my brow. I can go up to the first part of my brow here, but I don't want to go up to my arch, the arch of my brow with this color. Because I want to highlight my arch. So I'm going to use actually Cream Boat that we um, started with to highlight my arch. Okay, sorry, sometimes it's hard to see through my phone, so I'm actually like looking in my Ricky mirror to make sure I'm getting what I'm going for here. All right, so, and I'm using an angled brush. I usually use my, um, my crease brush, which is my, my long, um, is it long? What is it called? Oh. Um, my, it's not a dome. Oh, y'all. Pointed blender. <laughs> That's the, what it is. The pointed blender. I was trying to think of it. So, so I don't know how I feel. I was kind of sad. Harper's totally excited. She lost the tooth. And of course, all the kids in her class have been losing teeth. So she's been, you know, wanting to lose a tooth too. And so she's been having a wiggly tooth. Her front tooth was is wiggly. But all of a sudden yesterday, we realized her one of her bottom teeth was really, really wiggly. And so that one came out yesterday. So and I'm just like, oh, my baby. Like, I mean, she's getting to be such a big girl. Okay, so I like the way that looks. All right, now I'm going to I'm going to take this dome blender brush, okay, and I'm going to go in with um blush hour. Couldn't think of her name. I'm gonna go in with blush hour. But I just want to keep blush hour in the crease. Like, really, just in the crease here. Okay. It almost kind of looks like a cut crease, but um, not quite. I'm just going to keep blending that out. So that way, what I'm going for here is I want that lighter pink to show up, you know, here, up higher on my crease. And then I want to keep the darker pink 
actually like in my crease. So that's what I'm going for here. So that's why I'm using the dome blender that I can just stick in there because I don't want it to cover completely the light pastel pink that I put on. Okay. All right, and then the main thing is you just want to make sure everything is blended out. Now, I do have um, all my other makeup on, so just to save time, so this video isn't so long. All right, and I just kind of like that out. Blend this out really good. Now, and then I'm gonna go with that purple, that metallic purple, and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna go back with my angled brush and go back into my pastel me about it and just kind of blend and mix everything together. Because you don't want to see any harsh lines. You really don't want to see where one color starts and one color stops. Alright, so on my phone, this eye I think is looking a little darker. Let me look in my mirror. I'm going to turn my mirror up just a little bit. Try this this angled brush here and another thing to always have is just a plain fluffy brush like this so that way you can buff out any harsh lines that it doesn't have any color on it okay 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 um let me see i think i'm gonna go in a little bit more with my dome blender get a little more pigment on my crease And don't be scared if it doesn't, it'll all, as long as you blend everything out, everything will come together for sure. And then sometimes even I've noticed like, even when stuff I'm like, Ooh, I don't know about this. Once I get, you know, my mascara's on, my eyeliner and all that good stuff. Like it just brings everything together and everything ends up looking awesome. So. Just don't be scared, okay? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Because guess what? I mean, if, if it really, if you think it's like really bad, then you can just wipe it off, right? Yup. You can. You sure can. All right. So, I'm going to use my color swatch and get that color off. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead with a little more of the pink, the pastel me about it. Okay. Up to here. Now I'm going 
on tool, take that cream boat color that I used to prime, and I'm just gonna put it right here on the arch of my brow, under the arch of my brow, and down my tail, and that's it. I don't wanna go any further, okay? That gives your eyebrow more of a lift because you're highlighting your brow arch. So it actually lifts your arch. Okay. So I always put the, and you can even pack it. You can even pack the color in there. I like it. I like it. Okay. Now we're going to do our purple from our metallic. And we're going to do this color here. Okay. So I am going to use that same large eyeshadow brush. I cannot believe it's February, people. Oh. Can I believe it's February, girl? I'm telling you what. It's just crazy. All right, and I'm going to pack my purple color. Ooh, look at that. How pretty. <gasps> so y'all, I cannot, like I can close this eye and keep this one open, but I can't close this eye and keep that one open. Is that not the craziest thing? So I'm going to pack the color on, like so. Don't worry about fallout. You clean that up later, sis, okay? You clean it up later. Oh man, I love this purple. Love it. There's a blue in here that's gonna be really pretty too. Oh my goodness. I love it, I love it, I love it. Mm. So all I'm doing, I'm tapping my, all I'm doing, let me show you. Tapping my brush in here, okay? And actually I'm not even, I could tap the excess off. I guess I really should be doing that and then I wouldn't have the fallout underneath, but it's okay. And then I am just packing the color on. Good. I love it. Okay. Just like that. Nah, that's not so bad, right? That's not so bad. Purple makes green eyes look fierce, sis, okay? Yeah, people really, um, purple really makes green eyes pop. I love purples. My mama loves the purples too. She has green eyes. So, what y'all think? I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Ugh, I just want to keep packing it on, but I'm going to stop. Okay. <laughs> Yo. All right. Let me see. Okay. So just in case I don't want to. All right. I'm going to just kind of make sure I don't. Um, not kind of. I hate when I say kind of. I'm going to. I want to take actually my. All right, I'm gonna take my angled brush that has my pastel me about it color, and I just wanna make sure that I don't have any harsh lines. So I'm just gonna kinda, oh, I hate when I say kinda, I'm just gonna buff that out. Buff it out, buff it out. Okay. Pretty, pretty. I might add a little more blush hour. 
I'm gonna blush out up in there. Up in the crease. I'm gonna blush out in the crease. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Okay. All right. So now, let's see what we got. I'm going to take my blenderful sponge and I'm going to take the pointed end and I'm just going to clean up because, for one thing, you don't. You don't want your eyeshadow colors to go past this part here. Okay? You don't want to go, you don't want them to go past the uh, outer corner of your eye. So if you have any, you want to cover it up. You want to clean it up. Clean it up. All right. I'm going to clean up in this inner corner. Now. I'm not sure, but I guess I'm going to take, I don't know if it's going to show up enough though. Alright, I think I'm going to take the pretty purple and I am going to, usually you do, usually your crease color, your transition color is what you um, line your eye with, but I don't know. I'm really liking the purple. I just hope it's going to be too much. So I might, uh, I think I'm going to use blush hour and I'm a line. I'll put some blush hour on the bottom, along my bottom lashes too. And then I'm going to take my cream boot and put some cream boot in the inner corner of my eye. All right, let's see. I'm going to have to use my concealer here. Put a little more concealer here because I got some pink coming in. I mean purple. pink along the bottom here so Chris and the kids went to the aquarium Grayson has been dying to go to the aquarium so he's finally getting to go Harper and I got to go a couple weeks ago for her school field trips. That was fun. But now baby boy wanted to go. He keeps saying, I want to go see all the, are we going to go see all the awesome animals at the aquarium? <laughs> so cute. All right, so yeah, so I just put the pink on the bottom, which is the same color pink, the blush hour, that I'll put in the crease of my eye, okay? All right, now I'm gonna go back and pick up some of that cream boat, that white color here, and I'm just gonna add that to the corners, right in here like so, because that brightens the eye. Just like that. Make sure eyes look more open, awake, like you well rested. So, just like that. Easy peasy, right? Right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Make sure I don't have anything underneath. All right. All right, 
so let me think. Um, I'm gonna do a lip color because then I'm gonna spray um my setting spray before I do my eyeshadow. I mean before I do my mascaras. So um Ruby Chocolate Macaroon. Cocotini. Um, I feel like Cocotini is going to be too dark. All right, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and go with Ruby Chocolate. And I'm not even going to line. Hmm. Maybe I will. I'll line my lip. Okay. I'm going to do our dark nude liner. This is liner number one. I need to sharpen. It's a self-sharpening, so you see that tip? All I got to do is put it back in the cap and hear a click. Ta-da! It's magic, you know. I haven't lined my lips in a hot minute because I always... I feel like my Ricky Mirror is like flickering because you don't really need like you can line your lips with the enduring lip colors but the way they are like you don't have to That's Buddy barking in the backyard. I don't know what he's barking at. Isn't it funny? If you have dogs, I'm sure you know this, but uh, like I know Kane's bark, and I know I know Buddy's bark. Like I just I can hear Buddy out in the backyard barking. And then when I said it. <clears throat> I was like, yeah, I know that's Buddy. And I looked over, and there's my boy Kane sitting right there. So I'm like, yep, I was right. That was Buddy. All right, Ruby Chocolate. So Ruby Chocolate's probably going to come. I'm just going to show up a little darker since I, I put the, uh, the dark nude under it and fill my lips in with that too. So that it will alter the color of Ruby Chocolate just a little bit. Which I probably could have gone with even a lighter lip color. But we'll see. I can always take it off if I don't like it. But I think it'll be okay. And especially once I put my mascara and everything on, I think it'll be fine. All right, so my setting spray. Go ahead and do my spill and spoil it. All right, and we'll let that dry. Now for some mascaras. I love my mascaras. This is just a primer, cheap primer from the drugstore. Um, it's something, it's L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. It's something that I have been using for years and, um, like, I just cannot not have it. So. It's just one of my things, I guess. I don't know. I love it, though. Um, I just feel like my... Mascara, um, I mean, any kind of mascara. Well, for one thing, I feel like it really, like, it makes my lashes longer. And, um, like, it helps with that. And then it just helps, like, 
it just helps the mascara really coat your eyelashes. And I feel like I use less um, mascara when I have my primer on first. So, so what I put on my lips is our Enduring Lip Colors. Um, they dry matte, so you can see I have a matte look, but the, uh, it go, they go on wet. They look like a, um, um, I'm just warming up my mascara, by the way. Um, they, so they go on wet and they, um, they dry. They, woo, 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 don't want to break a mirror. Um, they go on wet and then they, they, uh, they dry matte. So, all right, this, I just warmed up my brown mascara. Crud. I want brown. Hold up. Hold up. Thought I had the brown. Sorry. Sorry. To my eyebrows are on perk. I cannot stop looking at them. I mean, they are on perk. Okay. I put a little mascaras. I know I love my mascaras. And I do feel like when you let the uh, primer dry a little bit, it's actually better too. Got a little mascara up there, no worries. We'll take care of that in a jiff. A lot of people line their, um, a lot of people like to line their top lid. Um, I personally have not done that in a hot minute because I like to highlight, I mean, I like to line the waterline of my eye, the top, and it's called tight lining. And I love tight lining. Okay. Well, let's put lashes on the main mascara on the bottom. This purple is going to be my new favorite color. Oh, I just realized I forgot to go down my nose with bronzer. I put bronzer on, but I didn't go down my nose. My mama would love this purple. So, show. Hopefully there's some bronze all up on a brush. Um, yeah, she would love, love this purple. So a tip that um, I have learned with your eyelashes when you're putting on mascara is do the middle part of your lashes first and you want to go from the base of the lash upward okay um, and then get them all straight and not clumped up okay and then oh, these are not cooperating and then go more towards the inner part of your eye and you want to move the brush towards your nose towards the bridge of your nose so basically you're fanning your lashes out is essentially what you're doing okay and then the outer part you go towards your 
Fan your brush out towards your ear or towards your brow. And it fans them. It fans them out. Like so. See that? And this is our perfect mascara. It's a one step fiber mascara. So there's little fibers in here that just make your lashes grow get longer and longer with every coat so another thing another product that we have that has really helped nourish my lashes um and i feel like it's made them um uh what's the word i'm looking for i want to say sturdier but that's not like it just it, it's made them, I feel like it's made them thicker, um, and longer, but I just, it, and I feel like it's made it, they, it's made them stronger too, and that is our, um, marula oil, it's a serum, it's in our, it's our midnight oil collection, but marula oil is very, very high in vitamin C, um, and it has, it, marula oil has four times the amount of vitamin C than an orange. So, um, I put marula oil on my face every night before bed. And then I will also take the marula oil and put drops of marula oil in my mascara. So, that way... I'm nourishing my lashes like all the time. So um, since I've done that and since I've started using the marula oil, I really can tell a difference um, in my lashes. So I don't use I don't use any of that other kind of stuff um, that they have out there to put on you know lashes. So these are mine. So, anyways, I am done. So what do y'all think? I may put, um, nah, I guess I'm not. I'm fine. I was going to put a little powder, but I, I put highlight under my eyes, so I think I'm good. So, what do y'all think? Pretty. I love the purple. Love, love, love purple. I think it came out really good. So, I think this is my new favorite purple. So, anyway. All right, girl. Thanks for watching, and I hope y'all have a great rest of your weekend. Ta-ta!